What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slime Quest. Today we're talking about updating your Humminbird units and all you need is a 32 gigabyte or less SD card and a computer. And uh, we're going to be going to www.humminbird.com and that's where you're going to find all your software updates guys. It's a good thing to stay on top of all the newest software updates that are fix, uh, fixing glitches in the old software and uh, actually there's updating new features on the unit as well. So you guys want to stay on top of it. It's not going to ruin your guys' units. What we do recommend is actually restoring your defaults on your units before you go ahead and update your SD cards. And I'm going to go ahead, once we get out there and we get this download updated on this SD card, before we plug it in, I'm going to show you how to reset your defaults on your Humminbird units. Uh, mine's a Helix unit, so if you guys have a Helix unit, you guys will see how to do that right here today. But uh, stick with us, guys. This is good intel for you guys to learn, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Stick with us. All right, guys, now that we are on the Humminbird site, we're going to go ahead and go click right on here on support. And you can see right here it has, and you got register manuals in here, everything you could possibly think of. But right here is the software updates. We're going to go ahead and click down here on software updates. And here you're going to have all the units that have are updatable. And we are going to update my Helix 9 series right here. This is my old one. I'm going to, right here, the Helix 9 SI GPS, the Gen 1. That's what I'm going to be updating today. And this page right here goes over all the fixes that the, uh, the update is fixing. It's fixing several sonar issues, 360 imaging, iPilot link, uh, some chart issues. And down here at the bottom is some instructions on uh, pretty much exactly what I'm going to be talking to you guys about. And at the very bottom of this page is the download for the newest update. We're going to go ahead and click on that download. We actually have the download pops up on the bottom of the screen right here. We're going to take this 32 gigabyte card and insert this right into the computer. You can see that it just read that. We're going to exit off that. We don't want to look inside that card. There's nothing in there. But we're actually going to go to the little arrow next to the save. So we can go to save as. This is going to pop up. We're actually going to find the SD card. You can see here on the side of the uh, this PC, it has the SDHC card right there. I'm going to double click on the SD card. It's empty. The Helix 1.900 version is right here and we are going to go save. It is just going to take a second and that is saved to the card. We're actually going to exit out of here. I don't know why this is popping up. It says Helix 9 SI GPS version 9.0 downloaded. We're going to open up the SD card. Just make sure that it is in there. And right there is the update. It is in the card. We can then pull the card out of the computer. All right, guys, we're out here on the unit. We're going to go ahead and power this baby on. And I'm going to show you how to restore those defaults. Then we're going to give the S then we're going to give the Helix unit an update. We got the unit powered on. We're going to go ahead and hit this menu button right here twice to get to the main menu button. We're going to scroll over to the setup and go ahead and arrow down to restore defaults. Arrow over to the right. Restore defaults confirm arrow to the right for yes. Defaults are restored. Now, we're going to take this SD card that we have the update on and go ahead and stick that right in the unit. Replacing software, you want to hit the confirm, right arrow, yes. Abort software update to version 1.90, no. We're going to arrow to the left for no. Updating software. It's going to go ahead and restart the unit, and when it turns back on, the software update will be complete.
current software version 1.90 that's the newest software no update required that is all you guys got to do the unit is good to go now all right guys now that you guys got your software uh, your unit updated software you guys are good to go all the newest technology on those units and all the all the uh stuff that the you know little bugs and stuff are fixed so it's as easy as that guy a lot of people are scared to update these units the only thing that you want to do is make sure you restore those defaults because you have it all out of whack and go to update it it might mess things up a little bit but you can always go back to older versions i like to leave i'm actually going to pull this card out of here now but i like to hold on to these guys this version if it, everything works okay you could actually just go back to this version if you update it you know update it to a newer version go back to the 1.9 if you like that one better so thanks guys please subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one